Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion, and today we're going to take a look at the IB core concepts of the most important chapter in theory of the firm called costs, revenues, and profit. These are the things. The IB says, hey, man, you need to be able to do this in order to go to bed before you take the test. These are the things you need to be able to do in order to feel confident going into the IB exam, all right? You cannot miss these, and these are a great thing to look at before you study, and these are a great thing to look at when you're finished with the chapter to make sure you're ready for the exam tomorrow. All right, here you go. All right, first off, you need to be able to explain, define, and distinguish between the concepts of the short run and the long run in the context of production. Of course, the short run is when production happens. The long run is when planning happens. Be able to do that. You need to be able to define, explain, illustrate, and calculate total, average, and marginal product. Can you do that? If not, go back and study. If you can, congratulations, move on. Can you define and explain the law of diminishing returns? Then know that the law of diminishing returns means the law of diminishing marginal returns and the law of diminishing average returns. You must understand that concept. It is the reason behind the shapes of many of the curves that are, you are going to see. Can you define and explain the meaning of economic costs? What are economic costs? Well, check it. They are explicit costs and implicit costs, and you need to be able to explain what those are. Remember, explicit costs are the things that the firm actually pays out of its pocket for in its factors of production, and the implicit costs are the opportunity costs foregone by the entrepreneur and by um, using the factory instead of renting it out to someone else. Can you define, explain, illustrate, calculate, and give examples of short-run costs? Can you? Can you figure that out? Do you know what the total cost, average cost, fixed cost, variable cost, average variable cost, and all those costs are? If you don't, go back and study, okay? Or watch some more videos. They're explained all throughout uh, my videos on cost, revenue, and profit. Can you do the same? Define, explain, illustrate, and give examples of long-run costs. Can you do that? If you can, great. Go to bed. If you can't, keep studying. Can you define and explain and give examples of economies of scale in the long run? Yes or no? Can you explain diseconomies of scale? Can you explain the relationship between long-run costs and returns of scale? You got to go check out that long-run cost curve and see if you can explain it, okay? Remember, economies of scale happen as costs go down, then they go constant, then they go up, and this is where they experience diseconomies of scale. If that doesn't make sense, go check out the video on long-run costs. Can you define, explain, illustrate, and calculate total average and marginal revenue? T-R-A-R-M-R, -R -R. you need to know those things, know how to calculate, know how to draw them. Okay, once you get it, it's easy, it's cool. The cool thing about revenue curves is they're dependent on the market structures. So once you understand them for one, you'll understand it. There's one revenue curve for marginal, for perfect competition. There's another set of revenue curves for the price makers market structures, which are monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly. Can you explain and illustrate the relationship between the average revenue, marginal revenue, total revenue, and price elasticity of demand? Can you? If you can, awesome, move on. If you can't, just study a little bit more. You'll get it. Define and explain the measure of profit. Can you do that? That's abnormal profit, normal profit, and negative economic profit or loss. Can you do that? These are the things you must do. These are not something like, oh, yeah, I kind of get it. No. If you want top grades, you need to be able to do all of these. Can you distinguish between normal and abnormal profit? Can you define and distinguish between the shutdown price in the short and long run, can you figure out that price right there? Can you define, explain, and illustrate the concepts of break-even and profit maximization? You need to know these things for the four market structures. Happily, they're really just two market structures, price makers and price takers. The price taker, of course, is, prof is perfect competition. The price makers are the ones who have the luxury of picking their own price, and those are monopolies monopolistic competition firms, and oligopolies. And lastly, can you describe alternative goals of firms, which comes in my least favorite economic term in the whole two-year course of study, satisficing, which is just when firms do just enough to make themselves happy. They're not necessarily profit maximizing. Maybe they're revenue growth revenue or growth maximizing. Maybe they care about the environment. Maybe they have corporate social responsibility norms. Maybe they're like Patagonia, one of the best, plant, best firms on the planet for taking care of the planet. 
So those are other goals than just profit maximization. All right, my friends, the whole point of this video is to make sure that you know what you need to know and you know what you don't know. And if you don't know any of these things, it's not a choice. You've got to go back and study. All right, my friends, listen, you can do this. It's just a matter of the time. It's a matter of getting your mind around these things. It's a matter, I think, of putting some stories in here to make our brains remember, right, the narrative. If we build a narrative around economics, guess what? The facts come along with it because our brains are associated and are made to remember stories. And if you can make economics into a series of different stories, even if you have a mathematically inclined mind, I'm telling you, ID economics becomes much, 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 much more tangible and much, much more interesting because ultimately economics is human behavior. Cool, my friends. Be kind to yourself. Be good to your neighbors. Care for one another. I hope you found this video to be helpful and we'll talk to you in a bit.